Hello everybody, welcome to a new video James Speed Shop. Today a special video to explain the uh, cylinder cutout system or the SAS cylinder out Schaltung. Uh, that's option code 479. So this is a pretty interesting system uh, because it's optional. It was optional and was not, as far as I know, it was not on a lot of cars. I know the same system is also on the M. 137 V12 engine. I think that is standard on that car. Um, what the nice thing is about this system, it will shoot down uh, four of the eight cylinders. That's a possibility. I thought it was uh, cylinder two and three and five and eight. <coughs> so um, this is one camshaft bearing bridge that I have dismantled. A complete video of uh, disassemble and assemble is a different one. You can look it below, below the video. You can find the video complete of that uh, assembly. And also, I'm make making a separate video of the uh, hydraulic uh, elements that are in here because it's just so tiny. This one is fucked up. I did it, so I need to order a new one. But I'm going to explain how this thing works and that you need to reset it when you install it again. So. <clears throat> What's different? Normally if you don't have this system you only have these rockers. You have two different types, a left and a right one of course, you can see it here. Left and a right one and you have a bigger hole and a smaller hole. Maybe it's not very good to see but it's about two and a half mil difference in it. And the exhaust side is smaller than the intake side. So you also the shafts, this is stainless steel shaft, this is the intake, it's a bigger one and this is the exhaust one. That's smaller. So <coughs> what do you have uh, more? You have a system with a solenoid on it. This is just a 12 volt solenoid, it's pretty expensive, I don't know why, but I don't just think it's rare and they have it on the shelf. It did one this breaks it will cost you like an 1100 euros uh, that's at this time I just checked the price around 1100 euros it's just a 12 volt solenoid you can just test it you put uh, 12 volts on it and it will just uh, click open and close that's it so normally what is different these shafts are also different <coughs> because normally you only have these holes this is for getting oil to the insides of the bearings and then there's a very small hole it's very not very good to see but there's a hole in here that will uh, on the other side oil in here that will go get oil to the roller bearing that is not on these ones that's pretty weird but there is no I could not really find a hole in this one so this is also different so this is the same in the system where you don't have it one is different, you have a different shaft and different rocker arms. So uh, there is a second channel in here, the big one, and it goes to the big holes. So you can see on this one you have one, two, three, four. Four rockers on the intake and two on the exhaust. So that makes sense of course because it's three felt per cylinder. Um, the oil pressure will go, if, if the solenoid is shifting, the oil will flow through these holes. And you have then this side, there's a big hole in here. That's the best way to see it. There's a big hole over here that will get oil pressure. Then there is a piston in here, very small piston. That's in here, that's pushed out, outwards. So I will mount it then on this side, this is the other side, there is a spring in here with another piston that's over it, that can slide up and down. Then there is this piston in here, that is connected like this. This is how it's installed. When the oil pressure is coming, it will push back the big piston in the housing. 
So it will push back this piston back in the housing and it will separate it and it will be like this then on the side. That's how it works and this spring is installed to keep the rocker connected to the camshaft so it will not make any play to the camshaft. So I'll now show you it on an installed version. So this is a head where I have installed it. It's not fully connected but all the hydraulic elements are in it. Which you can see cylinder 2 and 3 have this system. So if the oil is flowing, I'll take this off. It will get oil through the center piece in here and it will flow through this uh, through the chamber of the solenoid and it will get oil in this side and will push oil through the shaft it will get oil on this side put the piston outside and it will separate it and this will stay steady this side and this will go up and down still with the camshaft and that's why there are some compensation springs in here that will keep one side of the rocker still running with the camshaft in the middle so that is how it's that's how it works it's pretty simple but uh, this car has run 170,000 kilometers with this engine that's how I bought it that's how far I know it's running I don't really see any wear on these small pistons you can see a little bit of a shiny bit on it but it's not the lost material not really that I can see so I think it's a system that lasts pretty long if you have clean oil and the solenoid just works okay um, okay the oil flow through this system you can see in the center this is mounted, yeah it's on top of here of course but the oil is coming from the center upwards the channels to the side will feed oil to these holes on the underside and then the normal rockers will get oil and also the normal uh, shaft will be oiled so also this side of the solenoid will get oil in the middle and it will uh, get oil through the sides when this solenoid is shifting and then the other channel is getting oil that's how it works so it's just an yeah, it's a pretty easy system so this system um, has is yeah, it's pretty easy this is just a spring two pistons another piston in here that will push out and then it will separate the rocker so that's yeah, that's it it's it's not that difficult if you can see the the distance of this piston normally this is installed like this and then it's just one rocker and it will just run so there's not really a lot of wear on it you can see maybe a little bit of a shiny point where it shifts over but on on this side you can only see a little bit of wear on it but it's not really you can really feel it so it's very hard material so I think it can last a long time it's uh, there's not really any physical wear on it so it's pretty good so um, outside of shifting the solenoid you have to be there have to be a certain amount of things uh, at uh, when the load capacity is in a certain level then the system can shift uh, it will also so the valves of these cylinders will all be closed so you will pull a vacuum and you will make an overpressure but because you have four cylinders it will have uh, those pressures will uh, will not work into each other because if you have an overpressure and the other cylinder has a vacuum it will benefit from each other <clears throat> so if uh, Mercedes is giving an 
so what will it save? It's, it's fuel consumption, of course. So if you're, you're running a like 55 miles per hour, it would save you 13% fuel consumption. That's what they give. I have no experience with driving with this system, so I have no idea, but I can imagine you can also have a lot of trouble with this system, because if these solenoids fail, or you have some of these rockers that will not uh, work, or stuck, or anything else, it will be a shitty system to, to find out what it is, because it will also, I can imagine it will also cut your ignition and your injection for sure, so you will don't have any fuel on it. So if it will cut ignition and injection and your valve will not close or on one bank, your engine will run, yeah, not very good. So um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it because my engine will, is going to run on a standalone ECU, so I can I can control these solenoids, it's very easy. And I can uh, shift uh, or, or cut the ignition and the fuel on those cylinders, that's not really a problem. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. The other solenoid, I tested it, it works, it just clicks 12 volts very easy, but yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. It is pretty fun to have, I think, it's on there, but uh, yeah. So that's it. So. Um, for assembly of this system, you can find the video below below here. It will be uploaded in front of this one or just after it. It depends. So I hope you, uh, if you have any questions about it, just don't hesitate to ask. I will try to answer them. Uh, the only thing, yeah, there, there are just a little bit of, uh, so they all work with those pistons. You have a, a left and a right side of it, and that's it. It's not that complicated. It's just an oil channel. It will push the oil in, push the piston out, and it will separate the rocker. If it will uh, uh, um, uh, cut off the, the oil, the oil pressure will flow out, and uh, this spring will push back this piston back in the rocker, and you have it connected again. That's it. That's how it works. Nothing else. So, hope you liked it. If you've got any questions, have a look on my website also, yainspeedshare.com. The link is over here, here down below. In the right corner of you is my logo. You can click on it, see all the other videos of my projects and of rebuilding this engine. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, put a thumbs up. See you for the next one. Bye bye.